All right, everybody. So um, now that the playthrough of uh, episode one of Paladin's Quest is over, I wanted to show you one of the nice little sneaky things that the creators, Knox Crew, has placed in here. Uh, it's kind of one of the funny teasers. Uh, this little room here going through is uh, is actually part of a, a intricate little system that they have running through. If I can actually get inside here. Okay, let's go the long road, road around. Uh, okay, we'll just go the long way. <laughs> this is apparently... Okay, why am I not going anywhere? Go forward, thank you. Holy cow, man. Maybe that's what's wrong. I just wasn't pushing W hard enough. Uh, so yeah, so you see here where it actually blew up. Uh, where the, the mishap, you know, occurred there with uh, Pirate Jack. You see, this is the intricate system they have. Uh, that goes through with all the redstone and whatnot when you you know push the buttons and stuff. These little systems are running all throughout this place, so they've done a really really incredible job on on setting up everything for them to go through. Um, but I wanted to show you all this amazing little room they created here, uh, and you can only find this if you you know go through it and and blow it up basically. Uh, this is kind of their their happy place. Uh, Noxite, yeah, we love Noxite. Uh, and these are uh, Noxite, I want to kiss you, and Noxite, you're so hot. <laughs> uh, I don't know what all of those, but uh, you know, I guess if I'm feeling froggy. Um, here's some nice little paintings they had placed up here. Uh, a hidden door back there. Uh, that's just that's just sexy. I like that. It's just sexy, absolutely sexy. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna show you some of these names they have. Uh, the water kind of, kind of keeps you from being able to to see everything that you <laughs> kind of want to. So I'm gonna put some wood up here so I can't block this off a little bit. Uh, at least so I can get a, a better view of it. Here we go. Let's just block this off completely. The water does have to stay up there, is all I know. There we go. Now, if the water can reside, I can actually show you this stuff. So, basically, this is the room for all the creators, the developers. And, um, you know, this is everybody that worked on the project, as far as I can tell, has got their names up here and something they want to say on these signs. Uh, so, you got Bail Kugan 10, uh, Lax, just stop playing, please, uh, Mac Django the Griefer, Mr. Cheezo. Um, Swishblade, ZC, uh, Sanasis, Grudy, Prex, probably saying those wrong, but you know what, I'm saying them, that's what matters, <laughs> uh, C-Stick, or C-S-Tick, or whatever you want to call that, uh, Metallica, F7W, the one who spins to win, Fire the Cannon, uh, F-A, F-F-A, 1996, whatever that's supposed to be, uh, Sup, uh, Sup Mom 333, Holy Life Star, Dominion Fire, Dynamo 9876, Row Row Fight the Power. And then here is the Love Room, I believe what it's called. Uh, let's see, uh, <laughs> What a Sex Dungeon. How did this? I don't even want to know. So it's completely made of nether rack, as you can tell. Outdoor room. Uh, this is the kinky fun room. <laughs> I don't know why it's kinky fun room. Maybe it's because of the lava. Let's see what's inside here. Fishing pole, bucket of water, wooden sword, a brick, wooden shovel, and a brick. Uh, maybe it, maybe it is a little kinky. I'm gonna pour the water in there. I should just actually seal that up. So yeah. Anyways, I'm just I'm just kind of thinking outside of the box. Outdoor room. Uh. <laughs> that's nice. I got a tree growing in here. That's pretty good. And a nice little reed system. Can I go down? Is there anything down? No, apparently not. So, yeah, this is this is just an interesting room here. This, this is freaky. Um, let's see, and this is just I guess it's the bed just to chill with. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay, just just a bed to chill with. That might be something interesting there, maybe. With this trying to conceal with a bed. Uh, they have apparently a lot more of these, but I just found this one. Because I'm a loser. Uh, let's see. Go down a little farther. And there's some more names, I believe. This is awesome. I like this. like a wanted poster, like a newspaper with a creeper on it. That's awesome. Uh, but Cross Rain, 
racist, bad word. Uh, Crassus, Regazid. This guy does not know what he's talking about whatsoever. Zargret the Redneck. They should just tear that down right now. Just tear it down while they're not ahead. Because that's just, no. I'm the Redneck Champ. You can be the Redneck. I think that's fine. That's right. We'll leave it there. He can be the Redneck. Because I'm the Redneck Champ. Champion of Rednecks. Uh, Ames. Ames. What do you want to call that? McJango the Reaper as well. John Bruno. Uh, Loki. Fit GF. Hmm, that's interesting. Dark Mage 516, Diggison, uh, Impressionate, Impressionante, Baylor, Baylor, whatever you want to call it, Antli, Thorak, the Awesome One. And I think this is kind of the, supposed to be the main room, the Nox crew, all members of our crew, yeah. So this is the Hall of Fame. Uh, like I said, I guess you could come in this sneaky way here, but uh, unfortunately this big cool guy didn't go this way. But this is a nice little room as well. What? How's that even possible? Um, hello, player. If you're reading this, then I want you to try and find my other secret rooms. I'll see you in Paladin's Quest. Sincerely, Father Rain. Uh, so this is kind of the forerunner. This is where I was trying to come in another way. Father Rain's uh, hideaway. That's where I was trying to come in a second ago. Uh, let's see. Here's another little room that opened up due to the fact uh, that uh, I was, you know, blowing stuff up. And here's another little bit. So this is an interesting little thing. I may try to find the other ones. I don't know for sure. But I hope you all enjoy this. Thanks a lot for watching. And see you all next time.